Welcome, welcome. Happy Monday. Hello, hello, everybody. So excited that you are here with me today. It is a good Monday evening. It is good because the day is almost over. It is good because we have survived another Monday that otherwise was crazy. Um, I'm happy to say, I have a sad, I have a sad and happy news. I'm happy to say that I am here, I am live, I am in person. I am sad to say I do not have a box for you. However, I do have this awesome link for materials. So the project that we're working on, I am posting for your enjoyment and we'll get those posted everywhere. Let's see. And as you can see also, we're gonna go no hair and makeup because why not, right? Why not? Because we have to. That's the way the day has been going. So have no fear. I am here. I am live and we have no worries. So what happened? I am looking for my live. There we go. I Oops, I thought I did the whole thing. There we go. There we go. It's posted now. We got a pinned comment on both YouTube. Hi, Lisa and Amy on YouTube. Hello, hello. And on Facebook. Hi, Marlene and Anita. Hello. How are you guys doing tonight? I hope everybody is great. You survived another Monday. Hi, Stephanie. Hi, Mary. Hooey. So like I was saying a little bit earlier, we're going to do a cool project um, that I kind of have had my eye on this whole time for this transfer. And it just finally made it into its um, its turn for me to do the project. So we're making, we're going we're gonna to alter it just a little, but we're making a key, we're going to do a key, um, like a key hanger holder. We are, I'm using the metal tray, okay? So the white metal tray, super inexpensive. We're using the phone wallet keys transfer. We're gonna use our fuzzing cloth, tied and black velvet chalk paste, tied and black velvet, and we're gonna add a little bonus item on here. So the first thing I wanna do to get this ready, because we are not going to wax or do anything to the surface at all before we get going, but we have to fuzz our transfer. So while we do that, before we do that, I'm gonna write back on the back of my transfer. When you chalk on metal, it's especially sticky, so we have to be careful. We definitely want to fuzz, fuzz, fuzz. Hi, Connie. Oh, had a great weekend. No shootings at our concert, Joanne. None. It's kind of a a night. It's 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 not not violent. No. Hi, Marsha. Yay, Stephanie. Happy birthday, Kathy. Thank you. Hi, Marjorie. Oh, I'm just gonna live on what you just told me. I appreciate the compliment and I'm just gonna 
pretend like nothing else matters. Hi, Gail. Lo totally, I love that you have this post at your front door. We are the kind of family where um, we run, like we go out to the car, we have to go out to the car, come back in at least three times because we've at least forgotten that many things. I really needed to say purse and shoes. I needed to say shoes. I should have changed it to that. If you guys saw my post last week about me and my slippers, I have Birkenstock slippers. So they feel very much like shoes. And I wear them in the house because my feet. So I broke my foot in basketball when I was young. I have had bouts of plantar fasciitis. I like I just I've had all the things. So um I wear the Birkenstock slippers because they are the best. Hi Shorty. How are you doing? So yeah, so I went out in my slippers. I thought they were shoes. They weren't. Everybody can laugh at me. So we're gonna make a cute little sign that is also gonna double as a key hanger. So um, I'm gonna use some dark colors on this white board. We have black and tied. You know what? I may add another color just because I can. On the shopping link, please note that um, I didn't add this color, but I think I'm gonna grab some, let's do guava. Let's do a guava. I think guava looks good with the teal. It's kind of the color I'm wearing today. Guava, a little bit. Okay, and some squeegees. I'm actually not doing this entire thing because I didn't, I don't, I don't want all of it. I want it to say phone wallet keys, not lock the door or kiss me goodbye. Just phone wallet keys. And then we're gonna do something at the bottom. So it'll be kind of cool. So let's start with black and we'll do the phone first and I'll do this line there it's like underlined kind of it's got a little line separator and we're gonna do that black as well so there we go okay so that is good it looks like there's a little I'm gonna, and this is just chalk. I'm using chalk on here. Let's do um, let's do the wallet in tide. So it's kind of a teal, like it's a dark teal, a little more blue than green, but I love the tide. It's a really cool color. And then we'll go back to black for keys. And we're gonna just do that heart in our guava because I think that will be cute. I am Joanne, I am literally pooped. I have a story to tell. Here's, here's how we got to where I am today with no makeup, no hair, and no bundle box. Okay, so we got up, we slept in a little, we got up at nine. It was great. We got packed up. Throughout the weekend, we were in kind of a rustic camping area. 
lots of bugs. And while we were there, these little, tiny, annoying ants, one by one, were just finding their way in our bathroom. And if you know me at all, you know that I am deathly afraid of ants. We're not talking, I don't like them. We're talking full on panic attack. Especially the big ones. The little ones, I feel a little more control over them. And so <clears throat> I don't have a full on panic attack if I see one little one. But if I see a bunch of little ones, I can't handle it. Okay, so see these like one at a time, these little guys. And my husband's like, you know, I have some ant traps. Do you want me to um, like put it outside, outside the bathroom door? And then maybe it'll just like lure them out there so we don't have this problem all weekend. And I was like, you know, I think it'll be fine. One or two isn't going to kill me. So I didn't make him put an ant trap out. Then Saturday, like everything's fine. Same situation. Saturday night, we come back to the camper and we're a little like I've been drinking. We had a snack and it was late. We kind of sat and listened to music a little bit. I'm doing my review. Oh, why do you, why do I do that? By the time I see your message, I can't, it's like already too late. So, um, I'm sorry, YouTube, I owe you. I don't know what I can give you, but I'll give you a kiss. That's what I would give my kids. Um, okay, so, so far, here's what we have. We're going to clean this and I'm going to finish the story. Here's Dan. He's golfing. Oh, yeah. Will you do me a favor? I'll wash it. You will? Yeah. I want to dump this out first before I wash it. Okay. Will you go dump it out and then put, like, that much water in it? Mm -hmm. Thanks. And I'm going to leave this hanging right here to get washed. Um, so I tell him, you don't put the ant traps out, blah, blah, blah. So we had a snack on Saturday. And silly me, I put it away without putting it in a Ziploc bag and it was open. So Sunday morning, I'm packing up, cleaning up, and I go to like, I go to clean up the food, and guess what? While we slept, no, Sunday, Sunday, I went to get that same snack Sunday night and it had a little tiny ants in it. And so there were so many, more than one or two, that I completely freaked out, which means then my husband has to help me because I am paralyzed uh, if I have ants. So we take the food out of the pantry. He puts an ant trap in there, lure them back in there, which it did lure them in there. As we slept Sunday night, I didn't open that up. But as we slept Sunday night, they must have been lured into that little pantry cupboard. And we packed up, went home. Everything's fine until the refrigerator had a lot less stuff in it than when we went. So some things... Yeah, put it in all the way, and then, yep, use this to wash the front. So, I got help. So, we get home. My coffee creamer had dumped over, and the lid wasn't very sealed, I guess, and it started spilling out. Oh. All over the refrigerator, on the door, on the seal, through the seal. It clearly didn't seal very well because the liquid got out. And guess what found the coffee creamer? Oh my god. The 
freaking ants. So now we have ants migrating from our cupboard to our refrigerator, inside the refrigerator, and I'm, I'm trying, I thought the refrigerator, like my husband's like, there's a big mess in the camper, something milky spilled, I'm going to clean it up. So I go in there and when I realize what it was, major meltdown. So I go in, I'm like in tears, my daughter sees me, I'm like, I need, I just need your help. I can't, I can't I'm like, I can't, I can't. Do it. I can't do it by myself. I can need your help. So she helped me get stuff out. Erin also helped. I have not like it's just so awful. So this is this is one thing that happened today that was a major big deal. As soon as we pulled the camper into the into the um the driveway. We found that there's a nail in one of the um, tires. tires. So we had to go get it fixed or replaced, which means we had to jack up the camper to get the wheel off. As we're jacking it up, he blows a fuse in the camper. So I run to get the fuse, come back, we get the camper jacked up, we get the um, tire taken off. The whole ant thing happened after that. Meanwhile, he and I are both supposed to be working. Like, we were just going to drop this off, unload the food, clean it later, get to work. None of us, like, neither of us got to work today at all. Not a minute. Because at the same time that the camper came home, my daughter came home from college, she wants to switch her computer that she just got brand new for her birthday for a different kind. And so I have to deal with that, which I did. Fine. It's fine. All right. Where's the thing? Take it out. Is the and wash the back with your hands, really well, so that like all the fuzz comes off. So, all of those things. Plus, long story short, one of my daughters is um, going to get an emotional support animal, and so we're kind of dealing with trying to get like. All these things all at once. So, now, oh, you can't crumple it up. Uncrumple it in the water. And then you want to lay it out flat. Just lay it out here with the sticky side facing up on this thing with the sticky side facing up right here. Make sure the sticky side is up and the hard side is down. So, this is the hard side. So, put that down mm -hmm. in there and flatten it out with your hands. Make it nice and smooth. There you go. Okay, thank you. So, thank you, Ryan, for doing that. We have this. I'm going to finish my story in a second, but I feel bad. True story. Who's your helper? Ryan's my helper. Hi, Heidi. No, Cassie came home. No, she didn't bring Annie because she only came home for a second um, just to drop off her computer. Hi, Teresa. Oh, my goodness. Lisa, I have never known another person who was as scared, well, besides my sister, my sister Beth, uh, never known another person who is scared of ants like me. But, um, um, Heidi, I have so many stories like that. Like, my office at work got invaded and I ran, um, pretty screaming out of my office down to the, to the main office. The secretary is like, oh, what's the matter? And I explained to her and she's like, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. She's like, I understand. I'm like, no, I'm, I'm, I know, I know I shouldn't be this way, but I can't help it. It's true story. Like it's awful. It's, I, it like, it's awful. It's awful. So I have this fear. Um, I'm going to finish my story after I show you what I did. I have these cute little but strong magnet hooks. You can see it's like a magnet hook. And I found them online for like, I got a dozen of them or whatever. And you can put them 
uh, they are not going anywhere. I'm telling you, you can put heavy keys on this. And um, I thought that three hooks would be pretty good. So you can have three hooks and um, I don't have any keys down here, but like, look, I can hang, I mean, I can hang scissors. It will hang, it will hang quite a bit. You can hang stuff from it. So um, that's how that's how easy this metal tray is. Now, there you go. So cute, cute little key holder, key hook holder, or so my daughter, my daughters are the only ones who leave keys in here, but we like put our camper keys and stuff in here. So we can do that. And we also put our pool key in there. So that is so cute and easy. You could doctor it up if you want to make it less simple, but it needs to be a little bit less simple for where I'm putting it in my hallway. So that's super easy and fast. And the um, materials are right there in that pinned post for you. So cute and easy. I'm going to leave this right here. Bats. Bats freak my husband out. So if you're scared of bats, we totally are. Beth caused my fears. Maybe. Probably. Um, we lost the outside metal cover to our fridge on the highway and... <gasps> Oh my gosh, Kathy, that is awful. You're right, that is awful, awful, awful. I am so sorry. And you were gonna sell it. Oh my gosh. Gail, you have mermecophobia. What is it? What is mermecophobia? Oh, I have it. So yeah, mm -hmm. it's a real thing. And it's not fun. No. Um, I have called my husband in tears at work, begging him to come home before. This is in our old house. And uh, he wouldn't. And then I got mad. And then I had to take care of it myself. Fine. I know how to take care of it because I've researched all the ants, all the kinds, <clears throat> and how to deal with it. And I know how to deal with it. It's just that in the moment, it's not easy. So, then, by the time we got that all cleaned up, took care of my daughter's computer, all of the other stuff, it was time to take my son to lacrosse. And then it was time for Aaron to go to um, golf, and I had no time to do a bundle or do any work today at all. Kenny's not afraid of ants. No. Kenny's not afraid of ants. That's our brother. But, so let me show you. That's a long story um, to tell you why we don't have a bundle box this week. And also why, maybe if I, so I'm waiting for new product. And maybe if I get some new product, I've been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. It was supposed to be here Friday. And it got postponed. So it is not here today. It'll be here tomorrow, I'm hoping. But I've been waiting and waiting to do that, which is why I've been coming up with um, just projects to show you guys. Um, and this is a super cute, easy one. And I'm telling you, these hooks are awesome. Awesome. I honestly, to hang this on the wall, I would do, um, I would do, you could, you could go right through here and like go into a stud if you wanted to with a screw, but you could also do on the back um, command adhesive or, um, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever you want. Cause there is not a hook, but you could apply a hook if you wanted, or I think I would um, either use command adhesive, like all four corners, you know, and maybe in the middle stick it up there. That's what I would do. So I, so the magnet hooks, you just Google magnet hooks. Okay. Cause that's where you're going to find them. Um, 
I don't have the information because they're they've been in my drawer forever ever and ever and I just googled magnet hooks you can do it too just google magnet hooks and you'll find them I have no idea how much I paid for them they're very um standard you can even go to your local hardware store and get them you did Jill you did you did you did hi Elizabeth so anybody new who is um watching this crazy hot mess of a live I would love it if you would type add me in the comments and I will send you a link to the free crafting group where you get more ideas inspiration and insider information and um all of that good stuff if you haven't joined the club type club in the comments because I want to show you that information too you're gonna love it it's like it's like crafting on a budget and three if you're looking to make some extra money whether you're a creator you're a hobbyist or you're looking for a business type team in the comments t-e-a-m and i will send you a link to check out the information um all that good stuff so that's all you guys it's been a really awesome night and i'd like to take a break so um that's what i'm gonna do tomorrow though i'm gonna be back here legit professional an amazing showcase of something awesome maybe something new we will see but it'll be 8 p.m eastern time so catch me back here again tomorrow tuesday 8 30 or 8 p.m eastern and i will um i'll let you know what the project is then because that's what i do i tell you right then i don't really have it ahead of time that's all i can muster my brain is fried I'm gonna try and when I say rest it's really not it's really I'm gonna do some work that I haven't been able to do all day okay good good I'm checking to make sure I don't have questions and comments okay awesome all right well you guys have an amazing rest of your night I'll be back here tomorrow